Yesterday was such an eventful day. Today, since it was really windy, gray, and raining off and on, we haven't really left our hotel room yet, and it's 3 p.m. <laughs> Just used today as kind of a work day, editing videos, doing vlog stuff, and we don't really feel like we're missing anything because it's really hard to drive around the island when it's so gray and foggy. Uh, it's the roads are super narrow and it's a little scary frankly so right now there's a lull in the weather and we're gonna go out and find some food it was closed we're gonna get in the car now and drive to Loges here we are in the market in Loges that. I could look at that a thousand times and still be amazed. These waterfalls are gorgeous. And now we're going to head to the northern tip of the island, Ponta Delgada, to see if we can get our eyes on Corvo, which is the island just north of us. few days we've been going around seeing all the awesome sights on this island and today is our last day so we're gonna go see some of the things that I'd like to see 
So, oddly, it's a whale museum, and these two roads that we have no idea where they go, they're not on the maps, but we see them all the time. And they have signs on them, so we want to see where they go. So, it turns out, it leads to a farm. <laughs> There's some cows. <laughs> and it's a dead end. today would be raining and therefore we set aside all of the indoor activities for today. We're gonna start out with the museum in Santa Cruz. They converted it into a museum in 2009, so not that long ago. The whale parts <laughs> chopped up into cubes, placed in these big tubs, and hoisted up. <laughs> so when we were sailing, we came across a couple whales, and I just couldn't fathom how a group of guys in a tiny little rowboat could take down a whale with our opponent. Like to me it just seemed like if a mosquito came over and threw a toothpick at me, it's not going to kill me. And I just couldn't figure out how. And then watching all the information they have here at the, the whale museum, it made sense. So apparently what they do is they harpoon the whale with a rope attached to the harpoon and tied to the boat. It's a 900 foot line. So the whale dives down to escape, which is what I figured the whale would do. And then it'd be down there for up to an hour. And when the whale starts coming up, they'd start pulling in the line. So when the whale surfaced, tired, wounded, and exhausted from trying to escape, they were right on it. And then they'd pierce its lung and, and took the whale down. It's really sad that it went on for so long, but thankfully it stopped, except for Japan, Norway, and Iceland. So any of you guys are watching, it's time to stop whaling. There's no more research needed by killing whales. extracted a whole lot of stuff from the whale. They used the bones for ground up for hand feed. They used two types of oil, head oil and body oil. And the head oil was uh, used for like oiling machines and is where the sperm whale gets its name because apparently it had the consistency of sperm. The oil extracted from the blubber was what they used for burning. And the amber from the intestines they used for perfume. This museum was very interesting. I actually, I recommend it. It's very informative, but also very depressing and sad. I am very glad that they have stopped whaling. <laughs> uh, this is where the relationship with Boston starts. Uh, Nantucket was a big whaling community and when the Americans came here they recruited the Azorians on their ships and now there's a big population of Azorians in, in Boston and that's why it's so cheap to fly back and forth from Boston and the Azores. Wow, this is the ramp that they used to pull up the whales once they were caught. Talk about a long haul. Driving narrow curvy roads with extremely limited view Visibility. Is it open? It's so windy. We're hoping our plane will take off. Whew. All right, we're headed to the airport. So right now, the winds are steady of 60 knots with gusts of 80 knots. So that's hurricane force. wind is so strong right now, it's actually blowing the waterfall up. Okay, so here we go, driving 
through that waterfall in a second. Black cloud. Look at the other ones. They're yeah. just flying up. So these are the waterfalls that are being blown up by 60 to 80 knot winds. Now an interesting thing to note, there's only white caps and surf in the harbor. You get out in the ocean and it looks pretty placid because it's thousands of feet deep out there. about how great it is that everything is so cheap here and it's true most things are but but one thing that really surprised us was how really expensive the gas is for the cars yeah so we drove around all week and we spent 35 euros on fuel for three quarters of a tank the fuel cost here is a euro 50 per liter so that's a lot six dollars a gallon roughly yeah so with these insane winds comes the problem that the plane needs to land on a runway that has a cross breeze. So it looks like the flight might be canceled. All right, new developments happening all the time. Our flight has been canceled to Tercera, but the people here at the airport are super nice. They have um, put us up in a hotel for the night and provided us with a taxi. So we're really grateful for that. The wind conditions are insane, so we're glad that we're not taking off today. The hotel is completely full, so we're going to try another place. I ate a huge breakfast, but because I'm a loving husband, I will go brave high winds for Maddie's lunch. One moment, it's totally calm. And then the next, you are just blown away by the wind. And then it's calm again. I am blown away! 
So while we're very grateful that um, the airport has put us up in this hotel, there are a few funny things about it that are just a little perplexing. <laughs> One of them is that there are four light switches that do nothing. 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 The other is that they have no full beds. The room comes with two keys. Only one opens the door. None of them lock the door. You push the button and hope you got your key with you. <laughs> Another odd thing is that. Got some live wires. In the shower. Yeah. <laughs> Currently in Hotel Occidental, which literally means Western Hotel, and we don't recommend staying here. The beds are like rocks, and then the Wi-Fi just doesn't work. Like there's Wi-Fi if you're standing at the desk, in the front desk. Anywhere else in the building, it just goes out. We didn't sleep well at all, and now we're kind of missing the bed and breakfast that we were in. That place was awesome. So anyway, we're going to be flying back to Tercera today. So that's plus one for travel, GNU. Yeah, definitely plus one for travel, GNU. So this hotel was not an option with travel, GNU. And we're like, oh, okay, whatever. And we see why. Like, oh, don't do this place. So how'd you sleep? I kept waking up to like half my body completely numb because the beds are so hard. Like... My the blood flow wasn't happening. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Round two. Ooh. Uh, almost forgot this bag. And a shock. I need Maddie. She keeps me. Human. Hold your breath, don't lose control. You're sinking in your dreams, it's holding on. So it's kind of cool, you, they kind of hop along the islands and when you get there everyone gets off. You get back on, you keep going to the next island. Now we head back to the plane. You're sinking in dream
this is probably the biggest challenge of traveling, um, living this kind of lifestyle, is figuring out the visa situation. One of them is that there are four light switches that do nothing. <laughs> that one works. <laughs> That's one of the working ones. Book your next adventure with Travel Gnu, a website that makes it easy to book hotels, rental cars, and tours anywhere in the world. Find the link for Travel Gnu in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.